You ready? Hey guys, I'm sure you're wondering why we're all wearing Santa hats, but you're gonna find out in just a minute. So if you were with us last week, you might remember Sean saying that this week we were going to come back with another fun boating video or a travel adventure or boat work of some kind. But right now the boat's kind of torn apart because we do have a ton of boat work underway, specifically regarding our generator. So we figured because the holidays are right around the corner, we would share with you our top items for the boater in your life. Also stick around to the end because 10 lucky viewers are gonna get some freebies and some really cool freedom swag, so be sure to stick around. And also everything we talk about, there are links in the description below for this video for everything. We have a site on our website where you can see all of these gifts plus some additional things. And we also have links to our Amazon affiliate shop. So drum roll. <laughs> no day in general, and especially no day aboard a boat, is good if it doesn't start Coffee! Coffee! And you drink coffee in a coffee mug, and our number one item that we absolutely love, and these make the best gift for the holidays, are Yeti coffee mugs. They're 14 ounce stainless steel, and they keep your coffee warm literally for hours. We have them in three different colors. We stocked up because we had guests aboard last year, and we wanted to make sure everybody on board had hot coffee. For 25 bucks, you get the best coffee mug. You don't have to reheat. Just enjoy hot coffee. Our next item, and I promise you this will be the last coffee related item on our gift guide lineup, is the perf... <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were we? Our second item is the Perfect Pod. The Perfect Pod is an eco-friendly, reusable K-cup that goes in your single-serving Keurig-style coffee brewing machine. K-cups are expensive, K-cups are not good for the environment, it's a bunch of plastic, and they take up a lot of space. The Perfect Pod allows you to brew any coffee of your choice in a Keurig-style brewing machine. You simply open up the pod, you put a paper filter inside of here, fill it with two tablespoons of coffee, you close it up, put it in your brewing machine, and Voila, you got fresh brewed coffee of your choice out of your Keurig style brewing machine. And when you're done, you just throw the paper filter away and you can feel good about the environment and you didn't take up a lot of space. So saves money, super cheap. I think a pack, uh, one of these perfect pods with like 25 filters is under 10 bucks and you can buy replacement filters for them. We have our links below for Amazon, but if you want to support a great local business that also sells these and is where we actually found out about these, there's the link below to the Barnyard Coffee Roastery. So if you want to support a great local company, be sure to click that link. Okay, next up are relief bands. And these are great for anybody you know, including yourself, who has motion sickness, seasickness, gets sick riding in cars, RVs, on boats, any type of motion sickness, these relief bands work great. So it's a little odd, and I wasn't a believer until I obviously started using it, but you use the band along with some relief gel, and you basically put the gel along the inside of your wrist, you put the band on, and you select one of five settings. Once you can feel a gentle pulse, that's working to send a signal to your brain that then sends a signal to your stomach to get your brain and your stomach in sync so you don't have that seasickness or motion sickness. We have found that these truly do work anytime we know we're going to be in big seas. We put these on ahead of time and this summer it came in very handy. It's 100% drug free, FDA approved. We don't want to have to take a lot of bonine or dramamine or things that can really affect your energy levels. So if you have seasickness or a boater in your life, this is your trick. No guarantees they'll work, but at a hundred bucks, roughly, I think it's worth trying because it's definitely worked for us. Definitely. How are you doing, Sandy Claudes? <clears throat> 
Uh, breaker, breaker, breaker for this breaker. Uh, next gift giving item. We're going to need to put on our headsets with yep. our microphone. Yep, headset on. So our next item is the EarTech, otherwise known as Marriage Savers. These are wireless headphones and microphones so we can communicate with each other as if we're sitting right next to each other. So these are perfect for when you're docking the boat and somebody's outside and somebody's inside of the boat. You'll be able to, able to communicate and call out distances. You can buy them as a kit where you get one uh, master headset and then you can connect a slave unit to it. A what? Uh, th there's a master and a slave. Is it really called a slave? Yeah. Like a, oh my God. Here. Um, Is it called? Oh, this one's called remote. It's called yeah. remote. Actually, it's a master slave though. You can buy them as a kit or you can buy just individual headsets, but there's uh, one master unit and then you can connect multiple slaves to it. For us, there's just two of us on the boat, so we have the two headsets, one master and one slave. They come in a package deal with a carrying case. And the nice thing is the batteries are uh, rechargeable. So there's a little battery charger that plugs in the wall and you pop the batteries out of the headset, put them in the charger, and they charge quite quickly. They're, again, really great for communicating. You don't have to yell at each other, although that can be kind of fun, but embarrassing when you're pulling into a marina, so. You know, when you're at a marina and someone's just pissed at whoever's helping them and they're yelling, nobody likes that. And these two ran just under $400 as the pair with the case and the charger and everything. We went the cheap route with three other things and they all stunk. They didn't, either they didn't work, we had to give them away or we had to return them because they were defective. So you do get what you pay for with these we've learned and I think they're worth it. Is my ball moving around? So while we're on the topic of headsets, something that I absolutely love, and if I was asked, you have to take, you could only have one thing to have when you go to a deserted island, it would be my Eric Javits visor. And I cannot tell you how many emails I've gotten over the past year from men who wanna know what my visor is because they wanna give it to their wife or girlfriend for a birthday anniversary or for Christmas. This is the best visor. It's not exactly the cheapest thing, and I swear it's doubled in price or more than doubled in price since I first bought it six and a half years ago. But it's rigid, it's got um, a nice removable forehead insert so you don't get any funky lines on your forehead. It blocks like 95% of UV rays. It's rated at an SPF or a UPF 50. I wear it all the time, as you guys know if you've been watching these videos. It keeps your skin healthier. You don't want to be in, you don't want to be getting wrinkles, ladies. You want to keep everything healthy when you're in the sun a ton. You can adjust the size. You can wear it over another hat. Sometimes in the winter, I'll actually do that. I can't live without this. Link below. I have a question. Oh uh, yeah, you have a question. <laughs> How much is it? I'm embarrassed. Approximately. To say. It's approximately hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah. I should I start designing visors. I used to work for Nordstrom and I swear it was about 75 and I had a huge discount. So, um, but even with that price, I'm honestly considering buying a second one just in case they ever discontinue it because I love it so much. And uh, mine's getting a little salty right now. It's still great, but you know, I feel like if I, if this were ever to blow away or get stolen or I forgot it somewhere, which I probably won't do, I might want to back up because I love it that much. What in the world? <clears throat> oh, you're even scaring Santa. So our gift guide list wouldn't be complete without some apparatus that Sean can clean a boat with. So our next item is our Milwaukee cordless buffer and cordless polisher. I do all my own buffing and waxing on the boat and I used to use regular corded tools like just about everybody uses in the industry, but I got sick of the cord falling into the water, the cord getting snagged on things, needing places to plug the cord in. So this is a uh, Milwaukee electric tool. <laughs> it's their 18 volt lithium ion buffer. It weighs uh, no more than a corded variety. The battery lasts plenty long and it, you can have a second one on the charger while you're using one. It's great, I can't say enough about it. And when you want to get into those smaller spaces that the larger right angle buffer doesn't get into, we have an M12 polisher, which takes a 12 volt lithium ion battery in and has a three inch pad on it. So this is perfect for getting into smaller spaces. The nice thing is the Milwaukee charger uh, accepts an M12 and an M18 battery in it at the same time. So you can charge both styles of batteries with only one charger. So can't say enough good things about the Milwaukee cordless M18 buffer and M12 polisher. So next up on our gift list, 
is the DJI Osmo Mobile 4. If you're on a boat, you're usually going to some pretty beautiful places or some pretty cool destinations and you wanna capture the moment. I would say 80% of all of our videos are filmed using an iPhone. We have the iPhone 11 Pro, which works great. And we have um, a larger setup that we can use for B-roll and some better quality shots when needed. And we have used gimbals in the past. And if you're familiar with gimbals, you know that they're a pain in the butt to use until the Osmo Mobile 4 came out. So this is great because it's really small, it comes with a great carrying bag, and the gimbal automatically balances itself. You have a phone clip, which is super easy to mount to your phone and get it set up so it's even. You literally snap it on, it's magnetic on, it's, it holds like a rock on here, and it has some really cool features, especially if, if you're interested in some cool ways to take video. Or maybe you have kids on board or some teenagers and people in your life that want to get um, some, you kind of want to up level their photography and videography game with just an iPhone. You can do some cool things with hyperlapses, time lapses, some cool spin shot gimbal modes. You can do a really cool cloning panoramic where you can have yourself in three parts of a shot all looking like you're basically cloned and some other cool things. We've actually been able to downsize a couple of our other gear items that used to help us with hyperlapses and some other funky things. Now because we have this, we can just use our iPhone for even more of what we do and get some really buttery smooth shots. Because you know if you're on a boat and you're in waves or if you're on the dinghy and you're going fast, it's always impossible sometimes to get really smooth footage. And we all love buttery smooth footage. So for 150 bucks, you can do really cool things and turn your iPhone into a really cool camera or video camera. A lot of times I don't even use the sack, I just put it in my pocket. All right, so many people are wondering how we get the aerial shots in a lot of our videos. And no, we don't have our own personal helicopter aboard MV Freedom. We capture those with a drone. We have two drones uh, on board the boat. We have a uh, DJI Mavic Mini and a DJI Mavic 2. The Mavic Mini is the entry level drone in the DJI drone series. And honestly, this is our go-to drone. It's super easy to fly. It only weighs 249 grams. So you don't have to register it with the FAA. It's about the size of, of a cell phone, um, obviously a little bit thicker, but that makes it very portable. So it's easy for us to take on our journeys and pack in a backpack so we can capture those cool shots when we're on a hike or when we're on the dinghy. For about $500, you can get the Fly More combo where you get the drone, you get a carrying case, and inside the case, you'll get three batteries and a remote control to operate it. It has about 30 minutes of flight time, and it has all the bells and whistles as the larger drones have. So it has GPS, it can return to home on its own, it hovers in place if you're not actively doing anything with the sticks. So being at the low end of the price point for DJI, it's a great drone because you're not going to feel that bad if you crash it or lose it. But yet with the 12 megapixel sensor, being able to shoot in 2.7K or the new one in 4K, it does take really good photos and really good videos. So it's a great drone. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to capture those amazing drone shots. Sean mentioned the 249 gram weight, which is great because it falls under the 250 gram threshold to be registered with the FAA. And that's really all that means. A lot of people think if you get this drone, you can fly it freely wherever you want. And that is not the case. So the FAA has some very strict guidelines, mostly for commercial use. I know some of you guys out there are real estate agents that are interested in drone photography and videography, or maybe even want to start your own YouTube channel, or maybe have your own YouTube channel. And one thing that we want to share is that the FAA has a requirement that you need to have a Part 107 Remote Pilot and Command certification in order to fly a drone legally and make money off of that footage. We took our knowledge exam and got ready for it using the Drone Launch Academy. You learn all sorts of things about airspace, weather, drone usage, where and when you can and can't fly it, which was super helpful to us. There's Facebook groups, so as you take the course, you always have um, check-in points where you can actually ask a real human being questions and get real-time answers. So 
Drone Launch Academy has a very special offer for anybody out there that's interested in getting certified to fly a drone legally for commercial purposes. The link is below to get $50 off their course. If you're thinking at all about making money off of your drone footage, you really need to take this seriously because you could be fined tens of thousands of dollars if the FAA were to stop you while you're flying without that permit. So check it out below. Okay. okay, next up is our last camera gear item. And it is our favorite camera that's better than an iPhone and it is the Canon M50. You've probably heard about this already. It's been rated as one of their best opening price point cameras. We bought the kit that has a wide angle lens, which is great for vlogging, 15 to 45. And we also have a lens that is a 55 to 200. So when you see us getting some really cool landscape shots from the boat as we're cruising or wildlife shots of eagles or whales, it's usually with this lens on this little camera. It can shoot 60 frames a second in full HD as well as 24 and 30 frames a second if you wanna be more cinematic. It is super tiny, it's super light. It's just an overall great way if you wanna up your game in photography and videography and you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on this huge rig setup with a full frame camera and really expensive lenses, the Canon M50 is a great way to get into it without breaking the bank. And as you can see, I have my nice pink silicone case on it, which I love. I get a little more grip out of it. Uh, my favorite color is pink, so it's just cool to have. And also I have my favorite camera strap, which is from Peak Design. This has two little clips that attach and then I can quickly detach it and then quickly reattach. And the great thing with this Peak Design strap is that it comes with two sets of these little clips. So if you have two cameras, each camera can always have these little clip attachments that just sit there and they don't get in your way. So if you need to quickly go from camera to camera and you don't wanna have all these straps all over the place, it's a great option for you. So the Canon M50, with the two lenses, even just with the kit lens is a great starter camera. Maybe get yourself a colored silicone case to be a little more fun, good strap. And also in our shop, we've got some camera bags too. So awesome gift for the photographer in your life, or maybe you. The next item is how we are able to get around uh, when we're in ports and we don't have a vehicle. It is our Segway 9-Bot scooters. They give you up to 28 miles of range, going 18 miles an hour, and they have a max rider weight of 220 pounds. Full disclosure, if you're at the high end of the rider weight, like I am, you're only gonna get about 20 miles of range, but honestly, that's plenty. It, it extends what would normally be our walking range and allows us to see um, some sites that are pretty far away from the typical marinas where we're able to dock our boat. The other thing that we like about the 9-Bot scooter is that it's super portable. It fits very well in a boat. The handlebars fold down on the deck, so it doesn't require a lot of space for storage. Yep, and if I can lift it, most people probably can. That's why I love it. It's light enough where I can lift it and carry it around pretty easily versus some other things aboard our boat that I need Sean's help for. So next on our list are our favorite low back reclining seats. On Freedom, we don't have a ton of exterior space for some big, bulky, fold-up chairs. So these are great. I can lay them completely flat and stow them into some really tight spaces on the boat. On nice days, I can pull them out and we can enjoy a day on the bow. We can enjoy some time on the one of our upper decks near the dinghy. We can take them to the beach with us. They're really durable. They're UV resistant material and they're adjustable. So if you wanna lay back and get your sun, if you wanna sit up and read a book or just have cocktail hour out on the bow, these have been some of our favorite chairs. We've had them for years and we can't recommend them enough, especially because they fit in almost every space. We can really shove them into places you would never imagine they'd fit and easily get them out. So no gift guide would be complete without Freedom Swag. Using code FREEDOM20 in checkout, now through December 1st, 2020, you can get 20% off anything in our shop, mvfreedomseattle.com slash shop. And we've got t-shirts for the guys, t-shirts for the ladies, tank tops, really cozy sweatshirts, and a great organic cotton tote bag, which is great for provisioning or trips to the beach on the dinghy. 
And also, if you've made it this far, 10 lucky viewers are going to be entered to win your very own piece of Freedom Swag. So in order to win, comment below saying, I love Freedom Swag. And then everybody who comments below, I love Freedom Swag, will be entered into a drawing this coming Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna do a YouTube story Well, we'll choose the winner live and then get in touch with you to send you your choice of anything on our website. All of the links to everything we talked about in this video are in the description box below. We also have the link to our gift guide on our website, which has a few extra goodies, as well as the link to our Amazon shop, which has everything we use on our boat to clean it, to do maintenance, everything that we love, including some of these gifts. We hope everybody has a safe and enjoyable holiday season, and we hope that these gift recommendations help you either selecting a gift for yourself or maybe a boater in your life. And I think we can all agree that 2020 it's been a crazy year and all of us need a good gift. Hope everybody has a great week and good luck with the drawing. We'll see you next weekend.